Welcome to the only daily podcast focusing on compliance news of the day. Each morning, start your day with a cup of coffee and Tom Fox, the voice of compliance, to hear about four of the top compliance, corruption, or leadership stories you will need to start your day. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. First, a word from this month's sponsor, Ethico. In the delicate arena of compliance, every conversation matters. Traditional methods can leave callers feeling unheard, but Ethico changes the game. Our empathetic interview technique reshapes compliance calls into powerful, compassionate interactions, ensuring no crucial detail is missed. It's about creating a conversation that matters, that resonates, that makes a difference. Be the change in your compliance approach. See the transformation for yourself at ethico.com slash CPN. Book a demo, try our free ROI calculator, and explore the white paper by Tom Fox, the ROI of compliance. The Daily Compliance News for June 5, 2024, the Band for Life edition. We begin with that story from ESPN, which reports that Tukupita Marcano, a Major League Baseball player with the San Diego Padres, has been banned for life for betting on baseball games um, while he uh, played for the same team he bet on. He is the first active player to be banned under the sports gambling rule uh, since um, 1924. He bet more than $150,000 with a legal sports book on uh, games involving the Pittsburgh Pirates while he was with the Pirates last season. Once again, he's with San Diego this season. So he's found to have placed 231 major league-related bets. Next up, from the Wall Street Journal, another player was received a ban, and that is a minor leaguer, Mike Kelly. Uh, he, over the course of two weeks in 2021, he bet less than $100 on uh, major league baseball games. And... For that time, he uh, for the for the minimum bet, he has now lost three quarters of a million dollars. That's because at the time he was a minor league pitcher for the Houston Astros, and um, he um, was uh, received a penalty for doing that. The problem for Kelly is that Major League Baseball found out about his previous bets as a part of the uh, Tucupatita uh, Marcano probe and now Kelly has been suspended for a year and won't see the majority of the money he's owed. Um, so if you're a major league baseball player and you're listening to this podcast, don't bet on baseball. Uh, more bad news for baseball as um, the interpreter for Shohei Otani has pled guilty uh, to bank and tax fraud in California. Uh, he uh, stole money from Shohei Atani to feed a major gambling addiction, and now he's pled guilty to bank fraud and um, tax fraud for all of this. And our final uh, story today comes not from the world of baseball, but from the world of international soccer, where former Barcelona and Manchester United defender Gerard Pique has been placed under official investigation by a Spanish court over his alleged involvement in a deal which saw the Spanish Super Cup move to Saudi Arabia. It's not clear whether he was bribed or otherwise extorted money from Saudi Arabia, but bad news indeed. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network and a proud member of C-Suite Radio. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow.